What's up, you two? It's shit, it's shit, it's shit, boy. Mr. Mr. Jackson. Let her Gran Turismo 7, how GT7 harnesses the power of PS5. How Gran Turismo 7 harnesses the power of PS5. Explore key innovations that help Gran Turismo 7 take both long-term fans and series newcomers on an extraordinary ride. DualSense and Revolution. The DualSense wireless controller feels like it was made for GT7. Every new feature of the controller has been utilized, offering an enhanced way to play a familiar game, and a captivating, immersive on-ramp for series. Newcomers. Haptics. Immersive haptics let you feel tactile feedback as your car reacts to the road. Hit a ribbed berm as you clip the apex of a corner, and you'll actually feel the bumps on either side of the controller depending on where the tires made contact. Push your tires past their limit and you'll feel them shudder and, eventually, slip entirely as the vibrations rack up to a shuddering buzz. Adaptive triggers. Mash the brakes and you'll feel the telltale rhythmic catch and release of the anti-lock brake system if your car has it or if you've enabled it in the game's realism settings. I personally feel we've finally achieved a level of realism that's tangible. For example, when brakes are effective to a certain point and they lock up, the resistance on the trigger is cancelled. Kazunori Yamauchi, president of Polyphony Digital. Before DualSense, the original DualShock controller featured twin analog sticks that could be used to finally adjust both steering and gas brake levels, and, true to the name, feature two different vibration motors that let players feel impacts for the first time on PlayStation. DualShock 2 featured analog circle, square, cross, triangle, 1 lira, 2 lira, R1 and R2 buttons with 255 levels of measured pressure response. Though they were a far cry from the amount of granular pressure actual triggers afford, it was still a level of fine control across multiple kinds of buttons that no controller game combination had offered before. True to life graphical realism. Real-time ray tracing in scapes mode and Replays offer stunningly realistic details, from distorted reflections off a wavy chrome bumper to the play of light and shadow across different surfaces. These accurately take into account the position of the sun or various weather conditions to simulate the look of a wide range of times of a day or night, climate and seasons. Scapes also supports ray tracing which means that cars now look even better. I think that images, which previously looked like CGI no longer look that way. Kazunori Yamauchi, president of Polyphony Digital. Before ray tracing, Gran Turismo has always been synonymous with cutting-edge visual innovation. The original models of PlayStation 2 featured an iLink aka Firewire port that, when running Gran Turismo 3, could be used to chain six PS2s together for multiplayer matches. Similar to multi-seat arcade cabinet setups, the North American version of Gran Turismo 4 offered the option to output at a then maximum analog resolution of 1080i. Though this was a scaled image, it was HD before most HD TVs were commonly available. Gran Turismo 5 upped the ante yet again by using the LAN ports on individual PS3s to chain them together in order to span a view across up to five screens set up side by side horizontally to create a 
true wraparound display for the ultimate sim experience. Unprecedented load times the sheer amount of detailed features in Gran Turismo, cars, tracks, scapes and more means there's always been a lot to process, which meant longer load times. With GT7 on PS5, the console's ultra-high-speed SSD means tracks load in seconds. That seconds each to get into qualifying, pre-race setup, full-blown races and post-race replays, to say nothing of the lack of downtime between multi-race championships. The ultra-fast SSD also allows faster navigation around richer, more complex modes and menus and can show off your specific vehicles. Customizations in real time. It also means that photo mode and the virtual photography of scenes mode are snappier in dealerships. Inventories pop into view in just moments. The performance of the PS5 gives us something we've been striving for throughout the Gran Turismo series, the kind of natural feeling we've been trying to achieve from the start. Kazunori Yamauchi, president of Polyphony Digital 3D audio that puts you inside your rides. PS5's audio capabilities have been fully embraced in GT7, cocooning the player in a 360-degree set of virtual speakers. The sound effects use a method of 3D audio expression called Third Order MB Sonics. The PS5 renders this into several hundred channels of speakers, turning what would have previously been a simple wall of sound into an immersive audio experience, like hearing raindrops pattering onto a car's roof or windscreen, the staccato burp of tires rolling over curbstones, sounds of helicopters flying over the track, and the unique hums of different vehicles approaching from the front, sides and rear. Binaural audio, which recreates the shape of the human ear, and how the sound hits it, creates a strikingly realistic representation when using headphones, offering the listener a true sense of volume and position. Additionally, the GT series has always placed importance on having a rich music library. The genre of music spans from rock, classic, jazz, hip-hop, electro, lounge music, and more so players can enjoy this variety of music, not only during races and replays, but even in the menu, while you explore the world of Gran Turismo. Sound amazing but they got a gear score 2.7 on PS5 on first day, あの自動車のまあ楽しみの一つというのはやっぱりそのカスタマイズをしたりチューニングをしたりすることであのほんのわずかな違いでもやっぱり車って変わるんですねで